about it. While governments got prepared, I don't know. Or, or is this a staged bioattack? Has it been weaponized? I don't know. Have Western governments been messing with Ebola for decades, trying to weaponize it? That's come out. Yeah, there it is. Conspiracy theorist joins Dick Morris and shares views on Ebola outbreak, claims it could be airborne. That was August 6th when Paul Watson was on CBS News with Dick Morris. And then the next day they came out and made fun of him. Conspiracy theorist Paul Watson says it could be airborne. No, Watson on CBS cited the federal and, and CDC studies and the World Health Organization studies from 2011, 2012 on the laboratory test showing it was making it from a pen of monkeys to a pen of pigs that were not in the same area, meaning airborne. And then finally on Friday, or actually Thursday, September 11th, what we're all afraid to say about Ebola, New York Times, that it's beginning to go airborne and mutating. More than 200 known mutations in just the last few months. <clears throat> so there you go. I don't know the truth of how bad it is. I don't think anybody does because there's not a lot of medical surveillance, as they would call it, uh, in Africa. But I tell you, everything that hits Africa, HIV, Ebola, you name it, we know HIV is a weaponized autoimmune disorder that is race-specific and much worse. It was in the medical literature in the 80s that it's much worse in Africans, and then it goes down the line genetically into Hispanics and others, uh, that HIV is much, much, much more aggressive uh, in a more what they would call a dominant trait bloodline. Everything white is recessive mutation. Redheads are a completely recessive mutation, almost not even on the current human chain. And I'm part redhead. I'm not bashing redheads here. This is just the stuff they don't tell people. So see, they can make whatever they want, ladies and gentlemen. And it's very, very dangerous to attack, though, the original human bloodline, because the elite think they can control all this stuff. A, it's immoral and evil. B, it could end up spreading across the board. And, of course, it could be an accident, too. All these labs, all these vaccines being produced, all these GMO systems crossing animals and plants and animals with animals and fish with insects. I mean, it is just, who knows? But they use medical ignorance out there. about all these issues so the public has no idea what's even going on. But it's getting serious. I'm going to say this again. U.S. State Department orders 160,000 Ebola hazmat suits. Bulk purchases prompts concerns about spread of deadly epidemic. Infowars.com. The examiner. CDC issues Ebola checklist. Now it's time to prepare. This is confirmed from the local hospitals. They have copies of the checklist. So I want to open the phones up for medical doctors, for nurses, for people that have been in the Congo, been in the West Coast of Africa, been in Central Africa, people that work at the CDC, Folks that have survived j different types of jungle, viral infections. What does your gut tell you about this? Then you've got the Army and the Marines for at least six years training during a biological outbreak in the training manuals. This is Associated Press, Reuters, you name it if you're a new listener. This sounds crazy. So just please look it up for yourself. In fact, we'll, we'll come back and read one of the articles because it sounds so wild to, quote, kill zombies in mass during a biological outbreak where humans are running around biting and killing each other from a virus. Well, the closest thing you could liken that to is Ebola. So the Marines and the Army are training to mow people down in mass during this while they've brought patients to South Dakota and four patients to Atlanta and patients to Spain and Germany and all over bringing Ebola in when it's never been done before.
and where now it gestates over several weeks, not three days, so you can just spread it and spread it and spread it as a carrier. It's just, it's just Ebola just got legs, basically. But, but doctors and medical people will go to the head of the line. Where do you think this whole Ebola situation is going? Again, if you just tuned in, it's the Alex Jones Show. I'm your host, Alex Jones. We're here Monday through Friday from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Central. The news websites are Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. U.S. State Department has ordered 160,000 Ebola hazmat suits. CDC has issued Ebola checklist saying, quote, now is the time to prepare to U.S. hospitals. This is confirmed. Dutch Ebola doctors will be evacuated on Sunday. And this broke yesterday. Two Dutch doctors feared to have contracted deadly Ebola virus while working in Sierra Leone are set to be flown back to the Netherlands as soon as possible. This is what's happening. There's like a race by governments to get people that have it, I guess, to take their blood and try to figure out a cure or weaponize it. I don't know. But my dad pointed out, and he's got a biology background, is also an oral surgeon and worked in drug development. And I looked it up last night when he mentioned it to me uh, yesterday. I was over at his house with the kids swimming. I looked it up, and, and it's a whole area that hadn't been looked at yet that we should probably write about. <clears throat> and that's that you, you, you don't just have this lasting weeks now in the body. Instead of taking days to show signs, you can spread it further. You're going to have carriers who have a, quote, high viral titer whose bodies haven't beaten it, but that they're not dying from it. And there's always a percentage of people with different mutations genetically to be able to handle it. And it's inside those people that you get the mutations of the virus because it just keeps cooking in there. It can go through a lot of different permutations inside one person. And undoubtedly, there's, there's, there's master carriers out there, like Typhoid Mary, better known as Typhoid Mary, uh, Mary uh, Mallon, was the first person in the United States identified as a asymptomatic carrier of the pathogen associated with typhoid fever. She was presumed to have infected 53 people, three of whom died over the course of her career as a cook. She was twice forcibly isolated by public health authorities and died after a total of nearly three decades in isolation. So there is undoubtedly the typhoid Marys of Ebola out there right now. And that's a big question here that my dad was raising. And again, when I looked it up, it was like, wow, this is well known. That you can't just bring these doctors and nurses back here and keep them for a few months and let them go. Because it's very hard to identify if somebody still got the virus embedded in them, it might pop back up and keep spreading, basically. And that's layman, just for me reading the medical info. And that's all I do. Uh, you know, five weeks ago, I was just reading... CDC reports that they believed Ebola was beginning to go airborne and they confirmed it was monkeys on one end of the lab were infecting pigs on another end in test in Africa and, there, and there's other studies. So I said, hey, write, you know, write about that. And because we were the first to point it out, oh, no, you can't break something. You can't be smart. You can't think of basic logic. No, you're a liar. Drudge is a liar. Drudge is fear-mongering. How dare Drudge? Remember Geraldo Rivera. How dare Drudge hype the Ebola and the rest of it? Well, I think all the political correctness is trumped by the fact that Ebola makes you bleed out in a horrible way and it's extremely painful and is spreading exponentially. I think it's political correct to just kind of brush off Africa and just not discuss it. See how they use that actually to cover stuff up. And so we need to have Paul Watson or whoever write an article or somebody else out there. The tie, you know, Ebola carriers, sleeper cells of Ebola carriers could already be in the U.S. or could already be in Europe, something like that, because that's the angle that I'm worried about. When I sit here and look at this, what do I think about? Myself, my children, the larger community where my children live, humanity, my goodwill. I'm worried about typhoid Mary, typhoid Ebola. I'm worried about Ebola Mary. Ebola Mary. We know that some carriers can carry viruses for years and keep infecting.
Are there Ebola Marys loose in the world today? Undoubtedly in Africa, there are people that have survived from it, but the virus is staying active in them. So already in Africa, this is like a zombie apocalypse. It's, it's already reached that area. In We're some, on the march. Some